In today's video, we're going to learn how to share your calendar in Microsoft Outlook with your colleagues and learn how you can actually access their calendar as well. If you work with a certain few people all the time, having access to their calendar just makes it really easy to work well together. So in today's video, we're going to learn how to do just that. With that being said, let's jump on the computer and learn how to do this. So you can see here we're in Microsoft Outlook and we're in our calendar section. And now over here in the home tab, you have options like new appointment, new meeting, focus time. And on the right hand side of that, you have two options under manage calendars. The first option is add a calendar, which is where you can add your colleagues calendar so you can view their uh, appointments. And the second option is share calendar where you can actually share your calendar with your colleagues. What we're going to do is we're going to select on the option of share calendar. The drop down menu is going to ask which calendar do you want to share? If you have multiple accounts, you can choose multiple calendars. But in this example, we only have one. We're simply going to select on the account, go on calendar, and the new dialog box is going to pop up. It's going to show us what we're currently already sharing. And we're doing a full entire organization view where they can only see when you're busy. If you want to edit this so anyone in your organization can view nothing, or they can view the titles and locations, or they can see all the details, you can simply choose this in the drop down or the buttons underneath that. But I'd recommend for your entire organization, leaving it at the default of can view when you're busy, because most people don't need to know exactly what appointments you have. But if you have some colleagues you work with very closely, you might want to give them a bit more granular permission. So what we're going to do is we're going to go add, then it's going to bring up a directory of all the org all the people in your organization, and you're going to find someone you work with quite, uh, quite closely. For this example, we're going to select Alan DeYoung, double click on his name, his name is going to populate down the bottom, and then we're simply going to select OK. You can see here, we've shared our calendar with Alan, and then you can choose what level of detail Alan has when it comes to your calendar. You can let him view all your details, he can view your titles and your locations, only view when you're busy, he can edit your calendar if you want to give him abilities to edit your calendar. Or if you want to delegate to someone like an admin, you can even give them delegate permissions as well. I'd recommend for most people you work closely with, give them the access to view all details, but they don't need the ability to edit. Now all you have to do here is simply go apply. Alan's going to get a notification that he can view your calendar. And then it's that simple. Alan can now view all the details in your calendar if he wants. If you want to add someone's calendar to your view, you can either ask them to follow the steps that we've just gone through, or you can go back into your calendar in Outlook, go back to that manage calendar section, but on the left hand side, instead of going share calendar, we're simply going to add a calendar instead. Here it's going to give you a few options. The most likely one is from the address book. So we're simply going to select on address book, find the person that we're after. It could be Deborah Berger. We're going to double click on Deborah and simply go OK. What you'll see is on the left hand side of Outlook, you now have an option here to quickly tick or untick Deborah's calendar. And if we actually have a look at her calendar here, you can see when she's busy. Because Deborah hasn't shared her calendar with us, we can now get a view of when she's busy, but we can't actually have that granular detail. If we wanted that granular detail, we'd have to ask Deborah to go in and go share calendar and then change the permissions like we did in the earlier step. What we can do from here though, is we can go ahead and toggle Deborah's calendar on or off. If you have Deborah's calendar toggled on, you can actually right click on her name, go up and go color, and you can choose a different color to show Deborah's calendar opposed to your calendar. Right click on her name again. Uh, you can choose to overlay, which means it's gonna put her calendar next to your calendar. So instead of having that side by side view, you actually get to see them in the one calendar. If you want to do this from this multiple view here, you can see our calendar and Deborah's is selected. Simply go over to Deborah's calendar, go on her name, there's a little arrow pushing it to the left, select on that button, and it's going to actually overlay both calendars together. And this is a much neater way of actually viewing multiple calendars at once. If you don't want to view Deborah's calendar anymore, you can simply select on the X in the Deborah calendar section, or you can simply tick or untick her name here. And there you have it. It is that easy to share your calendar as well as view your colleagues' calendars in Microsoft Outlook. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge the way is your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.